What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Craft the Source, and welcome back to another gameplay episode of Minecraft The Wither. Uh, bleh, sorry, the Wither Rainbow Beacon Challenge. Yeah. Well, the last time we were off, uh, we actually managed to discover a brand new village somewhere in the uh, Savannah region, I believe, and we're out, out to explore the. Uh, hmm, no, I don't think of it. I might have forgotten. Whoa. <laughs> What we were exploring for, but I think I may have to do something with the uh, coal, I believe. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, anyways, we're actually out and about to explore uh, some, some uh, new place you know, all over the world, or, well, not exactly all over the world because of, because since it's a huge map and all, so. Woo. Yeah, <laughs> and as you can see, I'm actually <laughs> jumping around the bow on the trees just just for a higher look. Hmm, which I can't find anything too interesting. Hmm. Oh right, yeah, let's see if we could try and gather some plenty of coal in order in order to get ourselves some pretty hot wep weapons. I know it's been a while ever. Ever since that we, uh, well, no, I don't think of it. I'm not too sure if we accomplished anything too great, but, uh, still though, as much as I really want to try to go into an other sub valley, but without, with the lack of weapons and the looting enchantment just to get my hands on the you know, Wither Skull, also, yeah, that's gonna be a bit of a bigger problem with this guy. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. <sighs> yep. I probably should have thought about using the darn boat instead. Yeah. Whoo. Okay. No. Oh, hey, good. Hmm. Okay. Don't know how am I gonna get the coal from up there, but hmm. It's so that way. Oh. Huh. Well, there's a little cave okay, I could go through. Ooh, now I just need to find a way out to get the other side of this river. Woo! Uh, well, almost made it. Almost made it. Whew. Well, um, <laughs> honestly, I'm not too sure if I have anything, you know, a lot to say. Not for this episode, but, hmm, but I am really am trying to come up with some uh, brand new ideas just to, well, to pass the time, but, however, I actually heard that even some YouTubers actually want to take their create, uh, creative minds in, to the next level, I actually heard that the They've been actually working on some novels, as I say, just to, well, maybe pass the time or, I don't know. Well, and, and besides, um, just for the record, I actually kind of purchased one of Dan TM's graphic novels. I, I honestly thought it was going to be a little different, but hey, at least he has himself a good story in. Yeah. So yeah, he actually did pretty good in that book. And plus, I also got the news that, that another YouTuber by the name of Stacy Plays actually in herself a in different novel, which sadly I haven't read it yet. And then that's when Stampy Cat got the the idea from her just to make him. Self uh, another er, novel of his. Well, even though he already did two activity books, but not exactly a proper er, novel himself. So yeah, he is gonna try to work on something like that. Then, well, and just like my inspiration from Snappy Cat, I uh, yeah, maybe I'll probably consider making one too. Which, unfortunately, however, I'm not too sure of what I'm going to make the novel about. 
I will indeed think of something. I will indeed think of something. Hmm. Uh, well. Um, well, I know in the, the previous episode that, um, uh, well, I know who I said I wanted to do, try something a little new. It was like, uh, showing you guys of how to put in, in the Sims without the, without even playing as the new ones in order to get it in. Like, you normally start out with 20,000 simoleons. But, hey. Hey, at least I give you a nice little tip in order to show you how that works, right? <laughs> what? <gasps> oh my gosh, a pretty little llama! Hmm. And although I got my lead on, so... <laughs> I got you, my pretty little white one. And what's worse, the bed's and the sun's going down. <laughs> um, hello, this is my bed. <laughs> oh, what a pretty little llama you are. Well, even though you can ride them, but however, though, you can't exactly steer them. So, I guess I'll be taking this little one home with me. Well, I know that llamas have been out for a while. Oh, yeah, they could be quite, quite of a cool way in order to go around and about. In case you really are you know, low on on rooming your inventory. <laughs> but one thing kind of gets me really interested is about the, uh, you know, you know, how the way they even spit. <laughs> like, when you actually hit them, they normally actually you spit right back. Which, uh, hmm. Oh, and, uh, yeah, in case you don't know oh, anything about llamas, that uh, you can also decorate them as well with Depending on the carpet you got, either it's, it's red, blue, orange, magenta, well, pretty much any color, you could use that in order to decorate your llamas. Well, even though, since this is actually my first, and, well, technically I have no idea where I'm going, but hopefully I can, hopefully I might be able to find my way back to the village. Hmm. I was like, okay. Been to the swamp before. <sighs> uh, yeah, still, it is quite. I have a cool way in order to have your very own llama. Hmm. And... <sighs> how? How, 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 how am I. Hmm. <laughs> well, even though I don't exactly use llamas that often, but. I could probably consider them as great, great, uh, well, I wouldn't say great pets, but, uh, yeah, they could be quite very cute just to have around, to have them around, in case you get lonely, well, maybe a little too lonely. <clears throat> oh, wow, I have, I really need to catch a breath. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> but I. Uh, yeah. Although, since I didn't actually receive word of when the acquired update is coming out for the console edition, but. I think, according to my speculation, is that it might actually come out. Hmm, how should I. I mean. Uh oh. Shit, I guess I can't go this way. <sighs> well, yeah, um, it may actually come out late this year, so, oh, well, probably somewhere around, uh, Christmas time, I, whew, I believe, if so, uh, yeah, that's, a, yeah, it's been happening for a while, even though there was nothing new last year, but I'm pretty sure for this year, this year is gonna be something a little new. I mean, like, who doesn't like swimming with sea turtles and dolphins? I mean, like, 
Am I right? <sighs> you know, speaking of dolphins, I was really hoping that maybe if only one day, you know what I mean? Like, hopefully one day I could be able to swim with dolphins on my very own. Well, I've actually seen them in person before, but sadly, I never had the chance of knowing to swim with them. <sighs> but one of these days, one of these days I will. Hmm. Oh, and also, just for the record, though, uh, yeah, and, and for the record, I don't know if it's actually happened yet, but I heard that and these pumpkins will no longer have carved faces and every time you find one. You know, like, I know they're meant to be headgear, but, uh, <laughs> think of it. It's not like pumpkins will automatically grow with, uh, faces on them. <laughs> right? Oh! Ha! See? I told you I, I find the village. <laughs> I ho uh, several away or something. <laughs> then... <laughs> yeah, I was trying to create my own theme music. <laughs> it's all about instincts, you guys. It's all about the instincts. <sighs> well, now that we made it back to the village, and the question is, is I don't know. Now that I know if the long trip home is going to be, well, quite very long as it seems. Uh, hey, who knows? Maybe we could actually we try to you know, work on a little something, as I should probably say. But I know well, we should have actually went to the nether in order to get some uh, wither skulls. Well, it's just to make the weather himself, but... Uh, hell, though, the nether is such a very dangerous place. <sighs> oh, hmm. Uh, uh, how much coal do I... Yeah, I got 38, so, uh... Yeah, let me just go back to the, uh... The village, just... Just to see what other weapons that the villagers have. Hmm. And I hope it better be good. Hmm. And plus, that was the only lead I had. And so... Yep. Uh, right. <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's see what you guys have. Yeah, I... Yeah, did I already trade with you? Yep. Hmm. An iron pick actually finishes the enchantment. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Hmm. Okay, I'll turn with you, and now... Uh... Well, hey, where are you going? It's goof. Eh, hey, you were the toolsmith. Hmm. Alright, you got anything new for this? Nope, you're still the same guy. Uh, let's see... Oh, being of arthropods. Yeah, I'm not too sure if I even need that. <sighs> wow, well, um. Whew. Well, um, that was actually kind of all over nothing. But one of these days, one of these days, I will get my hands on that looting each other. I I just need to come up with something a little more smarter, that's all. Hmm. Uh, well, at least it can't be in this battle, right? Hmm. You know what? Tell you what, I'll probably take the, uh, llama back into my home. Well, which I haven't been back there in a while. <laughs> right. Yeah, so thanks to all the villagers who er, helped me so far, and thanks, thanks for the carrots, so you know, I am going to be running out of here. So, tally-ho!
ta 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 well uh, I should have really thought about making a Richards. Sup? Oh, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> I just remembered something that the reason that I managed to get all the way from the vi village is that, well, I might have actually used the boat in order to get there. But, uh, hmm. Ugh, man. Why you stupid horse? Just get to the other side. <sighs> and maybe I should have probably waited until morning, morning for me to, uh, in order to like get back home. But yeah, I don't think the sun is gonna be setting out too quickly anytime soon. But hey, on the right side, we got ourselves a brand new llama. Now, if only I could somehow re- Uh-oh. Eh, don't worry, I gotcha. <laughs> I just gotta be careful how fast I'm going. Alright, so I should probably remember that I actually came through this way. Or so I think. <sighs> Hmm, yeah, let me have a look at the map really quick. Okay, so since the sun sets to the west, so we may have to keep on going this way. And the first... <sighs> well, <laughs> honestly, this is actually quite a very long trip that I actually had to make so far. But, hey, sometimes you just got. Ah, oh, come on. Sometimes you just gotta get out there and in order to explore something that's really new. Um, oh, wait. No, 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 no. Do, dare, uh, do not dare to go into that cave, or else all this would be for nothing. <laughs> hmm. Uh, oh boy, uh, da -da -da. No, let's see, we'll just go by land to see what happens. <sighs> well, you know, I would probably literally give anything, and I mean like anything, to the world in order to have my own Minecraft skin on here. But instead, I just have to go with this. <sighs> boy. That hopefully things will. Let's just hope things won't be able to be too much of a problem anytime soon. If I could. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so apparently I can't move the boat while I'm on the horse. So that's. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Um, for me. Okay, so uh, we just need to figure a way how to do this. Hmm. Can I just pick the horse? Ah, there we go. <laughs> hmm. I don't know I didn't think of that last time. Whoa. Whew. Well, uh, uh oh. <gasps> oh, <God>. oh. <laughs> Curse my darn <laughs> Curse my darn allergies. No oh boy. <laughs> yep, this is gonna be a bit of a problem and I think the lead must have sunk all the way to the bottom. Oh great, oh great, oh great. I could probably... Oh boy. Yep, and I'm drowning. I'm drowning. 
Yep, this is gonna be harder than I thought. <sighs> no, that's just... What am I gonna do with you guys? Uh, next time I'm bringing two with me. Uh, boy, I I literally can not even freaking handle about this. <laughs> and no matter what I try, I always fail at it. And wait, where's the lead? I could have sworn it was right on the. Oh, tell me it sank to the bottom. AGAIN! <sighs> Alright. You know what? I gotta get to shore fast. Uh, boy, oh boy. Huh, <sighs> bread. And I kind of swore the lead was right in my inventory. Ah. Uh, well, boy, I have to go down to find it again. And there it is. Alright. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, well, I don't know. How am I going to freaking handle this? I just don't know how. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oops. You know, I don't think I really need to watch where I'm going. I mean, every time I walk backwards. Because apparently there are just going to be some random holes or just random caves that happen to be lying at the bottom. <sighs> well, um, I can't... I... Oh, great. Hmm, let's see if I could try doing it with the horse instead. I mean, like, that should have worked in the last episode. Whoa. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. so this does work. Haha. <laughs> Woo! Alright, next stop, home sweet home. Oh, there's an ocean monument. <laughs> hopefully one of these one of these days, ladies and gentlemen, I mean hopefully one of these days we will explore the ocean monuments just to see what they see what they're like and whew Yikes. Nope, sometimes that actually often scares me. <laughs> uh, okay, so we must have wandered pretty far or where we came from. So maybe we could just keep rowing this way. And maybe we should be able to get back home a little more quicker. No, even if I admit, it kind of sucks you had to use, like, one map just to reveal one section of the world. Well, but, huh. Well, bad. there's no way you could somehow improve it, like, somehow make it more bigger, or make it more expendable. But the only way you could do it is that you create a giant map room of some sorts. It's somewhere in, or in a very large room, room with a lot of iron frames. <sighs> Wait, I... Mm. Uh-oh. Oh, great. Well, oh, that's just per- Yep, yep. That is just perfect. <sighs> we are this close. This close of getting back home, and now the... Lead freaking broke. <sighs> uh, well, that's that's just terrific. But I'm not going home without either one of them. And you hear me, guys? Not a single one gets left behind. <sighs> what 
heart. This is gonna get very deep and very fast. Uh, oh, I see it. Oh, man, this is such gonna be a, a royal pain in the bum. Well, I gotta admit, the aisle jump thing kind of sucks a little when you go swimming. You know, like, all you do is just swim right back up and, well, not anywhere else. <sighs> Alright, uh, let's try this again. Alright. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Make room. My room, animals. Oh, whoa. Even at the miss, not, not this easy of going straight. Huh. Hey, though, on the right side, we are almost home. Whew. Wow, come to think of it, <laughs> this has been like a, a, a pretty long. Um, uh, rowing back. Well, hmm. No, what? Yeah, let me try for that. Hmm. Yeah, I think I should probably head this way. <sighs> wow. This is. This is actually taking quite a pretty long time. Well. Worst of all, it's. You know what? Uh, yeah. Let's see if we could try to go for a smoother surface, shall we? Because I got this right bow there. Reattached the lead right back onto the llama, so. Hmm. Okay, this works. Alright, my little animal friends. <laughs> bow ride's over. You, you better stay away from the edge, while I get the lead back. Well, if I could try to find it again. Uh, Aha! Right. Uh -huh. Alright, swim, 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 swim! <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, well, at least that works. Alright, next up, home sweet, and I got set up the bed. You know, let me tell you guys another thing, um, um, about the, uh, new mob that actually got added to the game, depending on the uh, votes from the, uh, oh, I bet I need those carrots. <laughs> Depending on the uh, viewer <laughs> viewers' votes, that the new met the new mob called the Phantom, um, actually actually has a way in order to appear onto Minecraft itself. Now, just think of this: if you don't exactly sleep for the past uh, well, the past certain number of days, such as five nights, I believe, then the phantom actually comes out in order to get you during the night time. And, and you know what the good thing is? It actually also gets burned up during the sunlight too. <laughs> yeah, I actually watched a couple of snapshot videos and yeah, apparently that's what hap happens to them during the daytime. And, the one and, well, no, the truth is, I don't know, not too sure exactly what I dropped, I think it was lever or something, but, uh, I don't know, no, but, I'm pretty sure, but, whatever they drop, it better be, ugh, God. sometimes I actually freaking hate these trees. What the? 
Um, excuse me, sir. No spitting. Uh, hmm. I don't even know the one was really that good accuracy. Come on, you. Oh, boy. Uh, well, what am I going to do with you, you freaking little llama? Uh, well, don't worry, though. We are almost there. We are you're almost home. There she is. Home, sweet home. Well, my little, little llama friend, welcome to your brand new home. <laughs> Whew. Wow. Honestly, I gotta admit, that was actually a pretty long trip. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll get you to move them with the cows, so... Okay, I'll take that back, and welcome home, my new little white llama friend. <sighs> well, um, so yeah, um, I guess this is actually where we're gonna be ending the video right here for now. So, thank you so much for joining me on this, uh, I guess the Great Llama Adventure. So, if you really did enjoy my video then be sure to leave a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel oh and be sure to follow me on facebook or twitter and uh, be seeing all you lovely viewers in, in the next episode <laughs> say goodbye my little llama friend peace out